Phil Donahue, a pioneering TV host who gained fame in the late 1960s as the first to engage directly with the studio audience, passed away on Sunday, August 18th, 2024, according to his family. He was 88 years old. While the exact cause of his death hasn't been disclosed, his family shared that he had been battling a long illness. Groundbreaking TV talk show journalist Phil Donahue passed away peacefully at home on Sunday night, surrounded by his wife of 44 years, Marlo Thomas, his sister, his children, grandchildren, and his beloved golden retriever, Charlie. This is what the family statement read and continued, Donahue is 88 years old and passed away peacefully after a long illness. Phil and his wife Marlo reportedly lived in an Upper East Side home for the last several years, which they keep quite private, but the couple has lived in some exceptional mansions throughout their lives as well, mostly in Connecticut. Phil Donahue, a pioneering figure in American TV, passed away at the age of 88, leaving behind a legacy that transformed the landscape of daytime talk shows. Born on December 21st, 1935 in Cleveland, Ohio, Donahue grew up in a working class Irish Catholic family. Donahue began his career in broadcasting as a radio news reporter in the 1950s, but it was in 1967 that he truly revolutionized TV with the launch of the Phil Donahue Show. The show, which started in Dayton, Ohio, was one of the first talk shows to invite audience participation, creating a dynamic and interactive format that became the gold standard for talk shows to come. His approach was unique. He tackled controversial and often taboo subjects, giving a voice to marginalized communities and sparking national conversations on issues like civil rights, gender equality, and the Vietnam War. Throughout his career, Phil won numerous awards, including multiple Emmy Awards, and his influence extended far beyond the screen. His ability to engage with guests on a personal level, combined with his fearless approach to addressing difficult topics, earned him a place as one of the most respected figures in TV history. Now, in his personal life, Phil Donahue was married twice. He first married Mark Cooney in 1958, and the couple had five children together before divorcing in 1975. In 1980, Donahue married actress Marlo Thomas, the daughter of comedian Danny Thomas. Their marriage was one of Hollywood's most enduring unions, lasting over 40 years. Phil and Marlo lived a quiet life away from the public eye in recent years, splitting their time between their homes in New York City and Westport, Connecticut. Their Connecticut home, a place of solace and retreat, was where Donahue spent much of his time in his later years, enjoying the peace and tranquility of the countryside. A Connecticut Gold Coast mansion once owned by Phil Donahue, which he sold for $25 million, was set to be demolished by its current owners in 2023 due to severe deterioration and pest infestations. The grand Tudor-style home on Westport's most exclusive avenue had fallen into disrepair, with the current ogre Peggy Reiner claiming it had become overrun by rats and raccoons and was suffering from a collapsing roof. Reiner and her husband Gary have constructed a 20,000 square foot beachfront home with stunning views of Long Island Sound in front of the old mansion and are seeking approval to tear down the 8,500 square foot structure. The demo plans have faced opposition from the town's historic district commission, which have requested discussions to explore alternatives. The historic home at 114 Beachside Avenue, which was the Tudor home Phil lived in, was once part of Westport's Hollywood of the East. It was a weekend retreat for Phil and his wife, actress Marlo Thomas, at one point, during the mid-1980s to the early 2000s. That's a long time. The seven-acre estate with its private beach and sprawling lawn was part of a neighborhood that also housed celebrities like Paul Newman, Joanne Woodward, Rodney Dangerfield, and Martha Stewart. After selling the Tudor home for $25 million in 2006, Phil and Marlo moved to another multi-million dollar mansion nearby. The estate changed hands several times before the Reiners purchased in 2020 for $16.5 million, nearly half its original listing price of $32 million. The Tudor mansion was built in 1911 and boasts seven bedrooms and nine bathrooms. The current owner spoke of the disrepair and the home's significant structural issues, saying, 
It's been infested by lots of different types of rats and rodents and moths, and we've had a really hard time. It's falling apart. It's not up to code. It has a lot of beautiful parts to it, but most of it has been ruined over the years by many different occupants. Phil and Marlowe's more recent mansion was situated nearby, and in July 2024, this residence went on the market with a $27.5 million asking price. Located in Westport, Connecticut, this waterfront estate is the highest priced listing in the affluent town and can set a sales record if it approaches the asking. The previous record for a home sale in this area belongs to that Tudor style property down the street that Phil and Marlo sold in 2006 for $25 million, according to property records. This shingle style home is set on nearly 6.6 .6 acres with 400 feet of waterfront along Long Island Sound. Built in 2007 by Phil and Marlowe, the home spans 11,450 square feet, including five bedrooms, five full baths, and a half bath. The design is perfect for seamless indoor-outdoor living, maximizing views of the expansive lawn and water. The master suite, which has been extensively renovated, features a vaulted barnwood ceiling, panoramic water views, a sitting room, a dressing room, and a sleek white bathroom with a soaking tub overlooking the water. The guest wing, with a separate entrance, includes two additional bedrooms. Additional amenities on the property include a full-size clay tennis court, a guest house, a home gym, four garages, and a covered bay. Before his passing, Phil and Marlowe also lived in a stunning bright duplex in the Upper East Side area of Manhattan. The elegantly styled penthouse is where Marlowe loves to host and entertain still. Phil Donahue's passing marks the end of an era in TV history. As his family, friends, and fans mourn his loss, they also celebrate a life well lived, one that was dedicated to elevating the voices of others and challenging the status quo. That'll wrap up today's house tour, but rest in peace, Phil Donahue. Thank you all for watching. I'm Kara. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.